Good Tuesday evening to you. Richard Scott here for your local forecast update. Cold air certainly been around for a couple of days now. It's still going to be chilly over the next several days. Then it starts to warm back up. I think by the time we go towards the weekend, finally gets a little bit warmer across Alabama. How about highs in the low to mid 40s across all of central and west Alabama? Areas like Coleman are only topping out at 40 this afternoon. Haleyville 41, Tuscaloosa making it up to 45, so certainly a pretty chilly day. A lot of cloud cover vecting in from the northwest, and no rain or any precip really across the state. Today I had a few reports of snow flurries across far north Alabama. Uh, no issues out of that. In fact, had some snow back near Memphis, Tennessee tonight. That is fizzling out as some sinking air moves in and some drier conditions. The lower dew points start to move in there. It's really drying out pretty quickly behind this big upper air trough. So I don't expect any issues of precip tonight. In fact, sky should be clear for most of tonight. Here's your forecast for our Wednesday. We'll top out somewhere in the upper 40s. It's going to be a chilly day despite that sunshine. Now, starting off tomorrow morning below freezing, I think most areas will be in the upper 20s to mid-20s across central and western Alabama. So again, going to be a really cold start to the day. Again, surface high moving in, and that promotes sinking air, so not any cloud cover going to be around with that feature as going to Wednesday, so plenty of sunshine. Now, Thursday, the surface high still overhead. I expect a very cold start to Thursday morning. In fact, Thursday morning will be our most damaging freeze and frost because of the potential for the calm wind, clear sky, and dry air in combination. I do expect a lot of frost early Thursday. So you've got some of that uh, cold weather sense to plants outdoors. Keep that in mind. Thursday morning, that's going to be a big deal. Even tonight, though, it's going to be below freezing, but the wind should prevent a lot of frost from developing. Now, as we go into Thursday afternoon, we start a modifying trend. Surface high still on top of us. And Friday, that high pressure moves off to the east. We get a south wind, a southerly flow, and that brings moisture and warm air off the Gulf. So by the time we go into Friday, we'll be noticeably warmer. Here's your lows tonight. Again, we're looking at areas north of Demopolis in the 20s, that Highway 278 corridor, low 20s. Uh, with the wind that's going to be up tonight, frost should be pretty limited, but still going to have that sub-freezing night uh, for tonight. Now, Wednesday night, that'll be our big deal with the frost and freeze combination. As winds go calm, skies clear, the air dry. I do expect temperatures in the upper 20s across much of the area. If you're north of Interstate, 20, low 20 is going to be likely Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Here's your forecast. Now Thursday, we should be back in the upper 50s, a partly cloudy sky, St. Patrick's Day, upper 60s. Now if you're south of Tuscaloosa on Friday, you'll touch 70. Uh, same for Saturday. Now a few showers come in with the cold front on Saturday. It does turn a little cooler on Sunday. Should be back in the low to mid 60s for highs and lows in the 40s Saturday night as well as Sunday night. But look at next week, Monday and Tuesday. We're back in the mid-70s. Sunshine going to be around. It looks like more really nice spring-like conditions early next week.